Welcome back to the WHHI TV Daily News. With me now is Mayor Alan Perry. And last time you were here, you were candidate Perry. I was. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. It's, it's great nice to be to here. See you. Um, so let's talk a little bit about jumping into being the mayor. How sure. has it been? Yeah. So, um, you know, December, uh, sworn in. I right. uh, didn't do a whole lot in December, but January was a... Uh, a month filled of excitement. Hit the ground running. We did. Yes. Absolutely. January 2nd, we came in and, and started the ball rolling. And uh, that meeting took us, uh, it was it was a planning session, took us about three and a half hours. Okay. Um, and then we've had uh, two emergency meetings and another council meeting. So we've just been working on a bunch of stuff. And, uh, and in the middle of that, we had our strategic planning session for two days. Okay. Well, so you, like, you really have hit the ground running. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about that strategic session. What we're, what's we're talked about? What are we going to expect for this year? What yeah. do you have? Have your priorities changed since you've taken office? Or are they really pretty much the same? So priority wise, it's pretty much the same. Um, you know, it's about redevelopment. It's about protecting what we are as a community and the character of what we have. Within the the strategic planning sessions that we had over two days, it was the first day was learning what's gone on in the past year. You know, where do we stand with different projects? Um, how are they moving forward and what do we want to do for the next year? Right. So that was day two and we set we set about 15 ish priorities, which okay. really is probably 25 priorities. And it's all about where we're going to structure things. They're all number one priorities. So right. where do they fall into the realm of, of the scope of getting them done? Okay. And so one thing that just recently came about, which mm -hmm. was just yesterday afternoon, right a big special meeting and you guys made a decision that I don't know that many people are expecting to make, but I think a lot of people at the north end of the island are pretty happy about it. Yeah, so um, you know, one of the concerns that, that has been in the community across the island is density, number of units per acre. And we made a decision as council to acquire a, a, a 12 acre tract on Jonesville Road that was scheduled to have between 88 and 91 units on it. Right. Um, with those additional homes, it, it really changed the atmosphere of that community, but it also had a greater impact not only on Jonesville Road, but on Spanish Wells Road, turning right, turning left on, on from Jonesville to Spanish Wells, okay. and then at the light. You know, so so the tr the traffic backup that exists there already um, really warranted something to be done to make certain that the community character was kept intact. And with the town stepping up and, and acquiring these 12 acres, um, it allows us to show one, the community that we're serious about addressing density. Yeah. And two, listening to the residents and making certain that we're doing the right thing as a community. Well, I think that was one of the things that was really important during the campaign is that I think you probably heard from a lot of people that they mm -hmm. want to not keep going and going and going and going. That's right. And, and one of the strategic plans is, is, is the rewrite of the land management ordinance okay. to make certain that we're addressing the density per acre and, and getting away from eight units an acre, maybe going to four or six. In different areas, it'll be a little bit different. But that is probably the number one priority to make certain that we're addressing um, those items that truly affect our character as an island. Right. Yes, because you know that old adage: we don't want to be the next. You know what? Yeah, so. and I, I don't like saying that. <laughs> we won't say, we won't say, say it out loud. But no. yeah. Um, and so, what? Obviously, that you said was one one of the number ones. What else are you seeing as being something that you're going to work on right away? Sure, sure. So um, we're working on uh, affordable housing, workforce yeah. housing. I mean, that obviously is a carryover from the previous council, and we're addressing that. We hope to have a great announcement coming. April or May, somewhere around there. Um, we also are going to be uh, exploring the parks on February 14th, I believe, is our a workshop for parks that we're going to be taking a look at five parks on the island currently in existence and addressing the elements there and, and working a schedule to redo those and bring them up to current current character, current current capacity. Right, yeah. and then will that um, involve? Wait, wait, is it the um in Port Royal, the no that that will come later. Okay. That'll be another another conversation. Okay, <laughs> still on the table. Still, oh, definitely on the table. Okay. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Mayor, for being with us today. We appreciate it, and we're um, excited to see what happens. And I hope you'll join us again soon. Well, thank you so much for having me. I look forward to the next time. Absolutely, and we'll be back in just a moment.